Thank you for calling the Microsoft Store. I'm leaving my house and I'm going to the Microsoft Store today to check out the Surface Studio. So I got to the store and I asked the manager, hey, is it cool if I film here? He recognized me from like the last time I was there. I guess I'm becoming a regular. And uh, so he said, yeah, that's fine. There are some rules that go along with that. Um, for example, I can't film myself asking employees any questions. They need like a real PR rep on site to answer those kind of questions. Also, I should point out the footage I got is terrible. Um, I, I know because I have this fancy light and uh, I'm taking this video footage on my phone that it might look like I know what I'm doing when it comes to video, but I'm, I'm very new at it. I gotta adjust the white balance by touching my face. Hold on. Oh yeah, look at that. But I did get some footage, but it, it is really bad. Um, just because of the all the artificial lighting, I should have brought a tripod. I have a couple over there. I don't know why I didn't think of that. They did tell me that I could use it for about 15 minutes uh, to demo it and I could take all the photos and video I wanted. But here's the thing, it only had the default, you know, Windows software in there, so they didn't have the opportunity to load up Photoshop or Sketchable or any of the cool stuff. That, that they kind of demoed yesterday. So this is a very limited hands-on. Basically from a drawing standpoint, the only thing I really got to play with was uh, Microsoft Paint, which leads me to this tweet, which is what I said shortly after I left the store. Got some hands-on time at the Surface Studio, love it, but has the same slow stroke pen wobble as the Surface Pro. So as soon as I fired up Paint and I started drawing, uh, I really noticed that wobble. I don't know if I've drawn in paint before, you know, unless you go back to like Windows XP or something like that. It's a very bad example of what this technology can do. And as you can see here, the strokes are really, really wobbly and nasty. And so of course, a lot of people are disappointed about this, but uh, I got home and I've been playing around. I want to put this in perspective because when you say something negative about a product, you know, a lot of people are going to be angry about me for just saying something not nice about it. A lot of people are going to jump on that as, aha, Microsoft is charging too much for a terrible device. This is really a phenomenal device, but I just wanted to kind of tackle the pen flow issue before I dive into like the laundry list of things that I loved about it. So here we are on the Surface Pro. This is a Surface Pro 3 to be exact about it. And uh, I am in Microsoft Paint and I am just gonna make some shapes. And you can see I'm making the same kind of shapes that I was making in the video. It is extremely bad. I mean, I can see the wobble without even drawing slow on this. If I do draw slow, you can see how bad that wobble is even at a regular speed that I might draw at that wobble is really coming through next I'm going to bring up Photoshop and I'm going to uh, bring up a blank document here and I just want to kind of show you you know what it's like when I just draw at my normal speed you can see a tiny bit of a wobble right at normal speed it's not too bad you know if I'm drawing at a quick speed you know you don't get any wobble at all if I draw slow now you're seeing that wobble. So that puts this into context. This this is the same problem on the uh, Surface Studio that we're having on the older Surface tablets. For me, I'm gonna keep using Lazy Nuzumi, which is a stroke straightener, link in the description. That gets rid of the problem, but I bring this up because for a lot of illustrators, this kind of wobble is a deal breaker. So if you're already using Manga Studio slash Clip Studio, that already has a stroke straightener in it. And using the demo Surface app thing that lets you test pen pressure and all that fun stuff, um, that, that has a stroke straightener on it. And you can see when I draw really fast that it kind of auto smooths those strokes for me. Okay. on to the stuff I really liked. First of all, uh, there are magnets on both sides of this thing where you can take your pen and, and latch it onto, which was really nice. They were strong magnets, very similar to the Surface Pro 4. Next up, let's talk about the dial. The dial is one of the more intriguing parts of this product. When you put it on the screen and press down on it, tap down on it, a little ring opens up around it. So it's up to the developer to decide what they're going to do with the dial. So this thing is going to change on a program by program basis. We saw in the promo video what some of the things that like Sketchable was doing with it, like changing the color. So just by tapping this into paint, I I just got basics. I set it to undo. And that way, anytime I wanted, I had like one hand drawing and the other hand on the button. And so I could just press the button to undo. I really want to play with this thing more because I think it would be so sweet if people developed like little pieces of software that let me customize it so that I could go in there and, and I could rotate it to the tool I wanted. You know, I can imagine all sorts of things we can do, like changing brushes in Photoshop. Maybe I could use it to scroll, you know, a brush size that I could go down and I could choose colors with it or I could, it, there's so many things that you could do with this thing. It's so, it's just a really neat idea. At one point I was pulling up the screen and I forgot that that little dial was on there. 
Oops. And that's when the police showed up. Just kidding, but it, it was a really loud thump when it fell off the screen, and so I, but I put it back on, and, and it still worked, so I didn't break it. I gotta talk about this hinge, because I love the hinge on the Surface Pro computers. I love how they can stand on their own, and they don't, like, slide down underneath the weight of the computer, which, you know, some of the older Wacom tablets that I've used have done. And I am telling you, Microsoft, you guys could be, like, a really awesome hinge company. You don't need to do this computer thing. So this footage is yet another example of how bad I am at taking footage. I I had a really hard time filming how easy it is to lift this thing up and down and put it into position. It was it was awesome. The problem in general was that it's it's a big screen. 28 inches is rather large. So I was like holding my camera back here and then putting my hand like forward because you can like totally move it with just one hand. And all the footage I got was either really terrible or I didn't get my hand in there. Or you couldn't really tell that the screen was moving. So when I was drawing with it, I thought I would be using it at that 20 degree angle, which is like all the way down. But I found for me personally, the most comfortable angle was up a little bit. It seems like there are presets on the hinge uh it's it but it's very smooth it's kind of hard to describe so like when you you pull it all the way up to the monitor stand version of it 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 kind of slides up and then it snaps into place but it doesn't it's not like a snap like a click it's like a very smooth like whoo but it doesn't make that noise it makes no noise and there were various positions like i think it was around 45 degrees it was pretty close to where i had it where it just kind of settles in and um i didn't put like all my body weight into it i just like had my arm on it and i was drawing at that degree and it stayed put, it didn't move at all. And that was one of my concerns, is that when you have like this really smooth hinge, is it gonna be one of those things where really you can only have it up or you can have it down, but if you want to keep it at a medium angle, is that going to be bad for drawing? Can I actually put my arm on it? Uh, but no, um, I mean, I didn't put a ton of weight onto it, but I put enough on there and it still didn't move. Um, I, I just was really impressed with that hinge. The other thing is, in general, the screen is just beautiful, which is exactly what I would expect. It's just as pretty as the screens on the Surface Pros and the Surface Books. I'm gonna turn the volume down on this because I tweeted right before I started recording video and that was not a good idea, Brad. The other thing that stood out about the screen was that uh, as I was drawing on it, I didn't really leave any fingerprints. Now, my I wasn't sweating because it was kind of cold outside today. Um, but just in general, I didn't see any prints on any of those monitors and there were people, you know, kind of milling about and touching it and playing around and surfing the internet. And I was like using my thumb and like <sighs> warm it up a little bit and trying to use, leave thumbprints and you can, um, but I couldn't see them on the screen itself when the screen was on, I could see it around the edges, but overall it just didn't seem to be collecting dirt. And by dirt, I mean oil, finger oil. Ow. I asked the guy in the store about the screen and he, he didn't know if there was anything like special about it. Um, he did talk about how awesome it was, but he didn't really know any of the technical details. He did poke around and show me some of the color modes and things like that. You can actually change color modes in there. And I don't know if that means you can load up other color modes, but there was like vivid and S RGB. Honestly, I don't know anything about color modes. I try to avoid it at all costs. Whenever I play with color modes on a monitor or something, I screw up everything. But if you're the type of person who likes to screw everything up, this computer's for you. Yeah, so as you can see, um, this hands-on was really, really basic. It was just more of a, does it do everything basically okay? And the answer to that is yes, it is beautiful. The hinge is fantastic. Now I really, really want one of these. You know, even though it's got that little bit of a pen wobble, that's gonna upset a lot of people. And I understand why, you know, for a $3,000 device, you want it to be absolutely flawless. But I think that's one of those things that with software, um, it's you can override it. But overall, you know, those were my hands-on impressions. Still super impressed with this thing. And if you have any comments, um, I don't know if I can answer them at this point because I didn't use it for that long, but I'll try, you know, let me know. That's all I got. I'll see you guys later.